All right, um, this is one of the questions uh, my student asked in the Telegram groups over there. So I decided to make a short video for this because this kind of question is not so common because this is a vector question. And then eventually they ask you to find the error and then they give you very limited information. Yeah, definitely this one is actually the part C. They still had a part A and B, but part A and B is just a normal vector question. So I exclude in this video. So over here, I just want to discuss about uh, the area here all right they tell us the the area abc is 40 centimeters square so you should know the abc basically is the whole uh triangle here and then they tell you the length of uh, bc is five centimeter and then they ask you to find the area of abd which is they want you to find this area okay there's few way you can do if you understand the ratio thing you can see let's say the abc over here i I use the uh, BC as a base here. You realize the base here is the ratio, four ratio, isn't it? And then it's 40 centimeter. Then if for the ABD, they should have the same base, but uh, a different base, but same height. So if you ask me, I would say the, the area of this one is basically is one over four of the ABC, or which is 10. But then most of the students cannot understand uh, just by using the ratio. So over here, I'm just going to teach you um, another two methods to get this area. Okay, one of the uh, methods you have to understand is like, like this. All right, let's say we have a triangle like this. All right, this area is the height. So if you want to find this area, right? So this one is the base, right? The whole thing here will be the base. So the area for this one is basically half time base time height. So basically this one is the base. All right, however, if we have the triangle like this, let's say this one will be the 90 degree height. This one will be height. And then the base will be here. This one is the base. So the, air, so the area for this triangle is still the same, half time base time height. All right, you must understand this is a very basic concept of the triangle. Why? Because I'm going to use these methods uh, for this uh, triangle here. Okay, so let's say, um, so we have two different triangle here. Uh, let's say ABD. Okay, let's say area of ABD uh, is equals to half time base time height, isn't it? Half time base, let's say base is this one. And I know the BC is five centimeter, right? So I can write five if I want. Okay, I write a 5 centimeter because length of BC is 5. And then the height, we don't have the height. So I just assume we have some invisible height here. I use a red color to represent it. Yeah, the line is not so straight. <laughs> but you just, uh, okay, let me make it nicer a little bit. Okay, let's say this one is 90 degree height. Okay, multiply height. And then we will actually get about uh, the 40. Okay, we will get 40. Right, then if you want to find the area of uh, ABD, oh no, this is ABC. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I think some of you might confuse like how how come straight away get 40. Okay, no, right now it's like half time base time height, then I get 40. So right now, ABD, so we do the same thing half. Right now, this is the base here. So base is basically is one out of four, right? Because the ratio is one. So it's one is like one out of four of five centimeter, isn't it? So I can straight away call it as uh, five over four centimeter, right? All right, then we have the same height value. And then and then the area value is the value we're trying to find here. So over here, we can just use the comparing methods. So basically, I do a fraction. I, I exclude all these things. So you just exclude it. <laughs> this one is just to tell you. Okay, so right now, you can see I will have a fraction two different fraction. So one fraction is the area of ABC, another one is ABD. All right, because why I do the fraction, because the same thing I can straight away simplify, right? I can cut, I can cut, I can cut, cut the other same thing. And I want to find this area, right? Then I just like cross over multiply thing. So I can say area equals to 40 remain here over five. And then this one multiply the five over four. All right, this one simplify, I get eight. Then I simplify. 2, 5, I get 10. All right, this is method number one, which is you, you just are uh, comparing uh, two uh, uh, triangle, all right, using the basic formula. All right, and 
because we actually learn about another formula of triangle, isn't it? Okay, we have another triangle formula, which is area equals to half times A, B, multiply sine C, isn't it? Alright, and then this formula is like the triangle, you have the side A, B, and an angle C. Alright, or sine theta, theta must be an angle between A and B. Alright, this is the basic, uh, one of the sine rule of the triangle. Alright, so because I know A, B, C, and A, B, D both will share the same angle uh, for this angle B, isn't it? Because you see the B at the middle, so you know uh, both actually share the same angle B here. Alright, okay, so what I want to do over here is, yeah, I will use back the ratio thingy. So I will say, um, okay, if I want to find this one area, so I will say area, A, B, D, okay, over area, um, A, B, C, will equals to, yeah, I can give any value I want. Let's say this is the area value I want to find. I just give you an X. All right, this one is just 40. I will just put a 40. All right, then I will just apply uh, this rule. So for ABD, this is two side, right? So it's half time one of the side is B, is BD. And then another side is BA. And then sine theta, which is the angle at the middle. All right, then I do the same thing. This is half. For ABC, I will say BC over, uh, not over, multiply, BA, and then sine theta, then I will get x over 40. And then you realize we have many similar things, right? I can cut, cut, because they are the same thing, so I can cut everything. Then eventually it's uh, left about uh, B, D, and B, C. So, so if you can straight away use their ratio if you want, or you still want to use back the centimeter, also can. So because just now I already show you the centimeter, maybe we use back the ratio. Because we actually know the BD is ratio one, and BC is ratio four. So can I find the X easily? Yes, I just move the 40 to the other side. Then my X will equal to one over four multiplied 40. So which is 10 centimeter square. So what is my X? X is basically the area of ABD. All right, so I hope this short video can help you understand like how to find the uh, area in the vector topics because it's not so common for vector student. All right, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned some technique in this video. Please help me to click like, all right, and share this video to your friend. Bye-bye.